Well, the weather outside is frightful. So this weird science fact that boggles my mind is being shot in my basement because I ain't ready for that shit outside yet. Now warm up to it and get back out there, but you gotta give me the first muddy, mucky snow. I, I'm, I'm moving inside. Now if somebody were to ask you what the worst feeling in the world is, you'd probably say something like when your feet brush against seaweed in the lake. Or that stupid evil spider head massager thing. Or when your uncle makes that vaguely political comment at the family gathering that you know is not gonna stay vague for very long. And if you were to say any of those, it's say all of those are bad, but not as bad as biting tin foil. Nothing ruins a meal quicker than that one square centimeter of aluminum foil that made its way into your burrito. Nothing like some immediate excruciating pain, followed by crippling terror for your teeth with each subsequent bite thereafter. But why does aluminum foil have the ability to make you feel like you're suddenly in some Freddy Krueger nightmare about going to the dentist? Well, the answer may give you a shock. Galvanic shock, to, to be precise. Now, most Americans have some metal in their mouth. Be it a cavity or braces or a crown, most of us have had some dental work that made us frown. And then your mouth is wet, if you're lucky. Hopefully not too wet, though. No, nobody likes drooling. And it's full of minerals, mostly salt, because we're all a bunch of salty bitches. Albeit some more than others. So then you take those conditions and you shove a metal in there that's different from the metal that's already in your mouth and grind on it like it's your prom date. There you are, chewing your food, and like prom, it's exciting, it feels like it's going well, but that electricity ultimately ends in painful disappointment. And this is because those two dissimilar metals rubbing together in a wet, salty environment create an electrical charge that shocks the metal in your tooth, which eventually shocks the nerve in your tooth. Now that is a tiny charge. A charge so small that you probably wouldn't even feel the shock if it was your finger. And if you did, it certainly wouldn't ruin your day. So how come the shock of an unexpected surprise in your mouth be so much more traumatic than when it happens in your hand? Well, that's because like the torture protagonist in a dramatic action movie, the nerves in your teeth only know one feeling, and that is pain. They literally cannot feel anything else. So any input the nerves in your teeth get, no matter how small, is painful input. This is why dumb things that don't hurt anywhere else hurt your teeth. Aluminum foil, cold, bumping your coffee mug against them. Lots of weird things. But then you may be wondering, well, if that hurts, why doesn't, you know, using silverware hurt? Well, it can, but it usually doesn't because you don't chew on your silverware. In fact, people who have fillings or crowns that can touch each other and they grind their teeth, they can get it that way. Real silverware, or even brushing a gold crown is a big one. There's lots of things that can cause it. It's just aluminum foil is the most common because it's sneaky because it gets in your food and then gets chewed on without you knowing about it. And the fact that finite fragments of foil in your food can make you so fraught and fearful that it can foil your fantastic feast, well, that is pretty mind-boggling.